next case is also interesting. The blinking artifacts are obvious in the left anterior head, but much smaller on the right side. So what happened? Actually, the patient had eye injury on the right side, hence the dipole was decreased. This is another example that the EEG artifacts may contain pathological meaning, so never underestimate their importance. Eye opening sometimes may induce muscle artifacts, especially in the frontal region, possibly due to simultaneous activation of the frontalis muscle. In this case, these artifacts are so prominent and even with intense eye motion in the EMOG tracing. Indeed, the patient had eye pain and was difficult to open his eye. A common eye motion artifact may also have hidden things. Please notice the alpha region is not disrupted by this frequent vertical eye motion. It means that the eyelid remains closed despite regular movement of eyes. How can it be done? If you try it by yourself, you may find it quite difficult. But when you think another way, should it be more a voluntary eye motion? It is an ocular cephalic reflex from vertical head movement. Actually, it comes from a demented old people who nodded his head in the whole exam. Case 7 is a more ideal EEG. Ideal means the abnormalities is what we usually expected to see in a EEG. It has a periodic lateralized discharge, more prominent in the left hemisphere with initial maximal or phase reversal as F7 and then later the fox shifted to F7. The spatial spreading suggested it may be an actor record. When it comes to seizure record, one important issue is to find its origin. So where is the origin of this record? Is this from the left anterior temporal region? When we move to the previous epoch, this, the sharp waves are not so obvious, and there were only some periodic slow waves in the left parasitial region. But if we move a little bit earlier, here is one interesting event. We can observe a rhythmic discharge from the third second. The upside phase in both EOG tracing indicate that there are eye movements in a quite rapid frequency. This is what we called eye-blinking eye breaking aura before, but now we know it is also a non-convulsive presentation of ictus. Because we notice this eye-breaking, we judge the later occurred period discharge were not ictal origin. When we see her head image, there was a lesion in the left insular region, which was more likely to be criminal. Again, artifacts are important even in analysis of this of seizure. Periodic discharges can be either pathological or artificial. On the left side, there are typical triphasic waves over a slower background, indicating a metabolic encephalopathy. On the right side, the background is still slow, but the periodic discharge is quite regular. They are the electrostatic discharges from the nearby limited ventilator in an ICU patient. Another ventilator-related periodic artifacts are shown in the left picture. The regular spikes upon the delta waves are unlikely to be physiological. 
the middle picture is from a cardiac arrest patient who had a hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. The right one is the well-known Delta brush from a patient with NMDA encephalitis. If periodic discharges are lateralized, in the other word, PLD, it has high possibility of seizure activities. When we see the right anterior frontal traces of the left EEG, we can observe a muscle artifact right after the PLD. Now we are confident to say it is a seizure record because we did observe both EEG and its associated clinical myocronus in the same page. The right picture has also has periodic waves. However, if we look closer, we may notice out of phase at T6. This patient felt itchy and during the exam and the scratched the scalp. Actually, if you want to check your colleagues, you can generate a pseudo ectal discharge if we have a, the EEG cables in a rhythmic pattern. This is the first report of case 9. Look astonished. The PLD almost made us decide to diagnose an epilepsy. But wait a minute. Do you see the montage? It is a A1, A2 referential montage. The terrible waves disappeared completely after we changed it to a bipolar montage. The periodic waves were generated from A1. This artifact is caused by the repetitive swallowing behavior in a patient with fragile X syndrome. I think it may be some kind of tics. 